Hey guys, my name's Elliot and I'm a small animal veterinarian over in England. I wanted to talk to you about how to calculate a fentanyl CRA. Um, fentanyl is a little strange because it gives its doses in micrograms per kilo per minute as opposed to the typical milligrams per hour or milligrams per kilogram per hour. Um, micrograms you'll see commonly written as MCG um, or as a mu symbol like I've written there. So our example today, let's call you little Bobby. Bobby weighs 10 kilos, he's going to get 0 0.03 micrograms per kilogram per minute and also he's going to get that fentanyl CRI at a rate of 3 mils per hour. Um, I've chosen to do it this way because it will allow us to titrate the dose more easily. Um, you've got 3 and 3, so adjusting the rates up or down will allow us to titrate a bit more precisely. So first thing we need to do is figure out how many micrograms uh, per minute our good friend Bobby needs. So we know he weighs 10 kilos. All we're going to do is multiply our dose of 0 0.03 micrograms per kilogram per minute times 10. Our kilograms will cross out and that will leave us with 0 0.3 micrograms per minute. Um, but we want to get to hours and we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour. So we're going to take six, uh, 0 0.3 micrograms per minute times 60 minutes in one hour. Minutes are going to cross out and that's going to leave us with 18 micrograms per hour. Um, typically we're going to run fentanyl in a syringe driver and there are a couple of different ways you can come up with a calculation. You can run it as, as pure fentanyl but if we want to make lives easy and we want to make it last a long time and we want to be precise then we're going to run it at three mils an hour and likely we're going to use a 60 mil syringe because you just want to make it up and then be done with it. So a 60 mil syringe running at 3 mils an hour is going to last us 20 hours. So essentially what we need to do is get 20 hours of fentanyl, put it in a syringe and then fill the rest up with saline. So 20 hours times 18 micrograms per hour leaves us with 360 micrograms. Now, that's not entirely helpful, so we need to convert that into mils based on a concentration, which we know up here is 50 micrograms per mil. So as you do when you're converting your dose into mils, you're gonna divide by the concentration. Micrograms cancel out, and that leaves us with 7.2 mils of fentanyl. So we're going to take that 7.2 mils, don't forget to log it, add it into our 60 mil syringe, and we're going to fill up the rest with saline, which is 52.8 mils of saline. So if you want to titrate this up or down, you really just change the dose rate. So if 3 mils per hour is equal to 0 0.03 micrograms kilo per minute, 4 mil per hour is going to be equal to 0 0.04 and so on and so on. Um, for dose ranges, you can check your formularies and everything else. Um, I will attach a um, more in-depth explanation into the guide um, or into the show notes. Um, so I hope this is helpful.